Tony, congratulations. It is always good to see a fresh new face in your club. You're more than welcome to come again and give us all your ideas and enthusiasm. Well, project number nine, Persuade with Power. The speaker is to present a persuasive speech <coughs> that combines logical support for his viewpoint with a strong emotional appeal and should focus on self-interest for the audience. Now let me be, let me use a bit of coquetry. I think that you have shown today with a great suit, great appearance, sophisticated, I like that. So right there, with all due respect, great. Now let's talk about to try is to succeed. One of the things that I love about your speech is that you started with a quote. And that always brings memories, brings emotions, people relate to it, people want to write it down, and I think that's a good catch at the beginning, so keep on doing that. I also like the fact that you use your personal experience. He was able to tell us about the marathon. What a great and daunting experience. You use that word, by the way, and I love it. When you put new words, things that we don't use every day, now there are things for improvement and this speech it is a great material for your next project which is number 10. You, you want to inspire the audience in number 10 and I <coughs> challenge you to use this material for your next project because there are several things that I think you can improve. For example, eye contact. Because you're thinking and you're bringing all the ideas, you're most of the time looking at the floor. So what I suggest is to try to look at their foreheads. Maybe their eyes are a bit challenging, they're, they're asking for a lot of passion and commitment, but put your eyes on the audience because you want to connect with them, not with the floor. And sometimes I, I, I thought you were kind of looking because you were thinking. Then there is a great opportunity for body language too. Personally, I don't really like this. That's my opinion. I think because you want to be <coughs> persuasive, you want to put your hands out. And this is a place to experiment how you're going to use it. Are they going to be here, going to be here, there, here? I don't know. Just experiment, but don't put it here. And for the times that you explain what happened through the marathon, maybe I would like to see you coming when you finish, or when you put the, the hamstring, how is that? Were you on the floor? I would like to see that because people will remember that guy fell to the floor and stand up and kept on going. That's what I like you to do here with passion. Put that passion in. I know it's 7.30, understandable, <laughs> but do it. And the other thing that I would like you to add to this speech for the next project is vocal variety because I think you have a great topic, a great material, but it needs enhancement. Your vocal variety wasn't as effective as it could have been. For example, the times that you were in pain. I would have liked to see that pain, so I got hamstring on it. I don't know, just experiment. Whatever you think might work. And then incorporate more silence. Because you have plenty of time. I don't think you use the whole seven minutes. Maybe after the quote, you can pause. Failure is fertilizer for future development. And then go. Take your time. In general, I think you were able to concoct a speech which has an amazing, an amazing message. We need that. Toastmasters are here for development. And you were able to do that. So congratulations and I hope you do it very well in the next speech. <coughs>